All right, this is my Martini 571. I'm going to uh, cut into some wood that I have laying around. This is outside. Obviously, excuse any noise. I think there's a freaking leaf blower over there and the neighbor's dog over there. All right, but let's see how this does. They're cut right through it. Cutting right through. Yeah, that is the ice cream man. All right, these are my martini knives. Martini knives are made in Finland. They have the traditional Scandinavian grind, and many of them are based on uh, traditional designs that have stood the test of time. They offer a great value as uh, outdoor type camping light utility blades. They're very lightweight. They are known for coming razor sharp. These come sharper than many extremely expensive knives, so be very careful when you first get one. From left to right, we have the M571, the Carbonox, the Witch's Tooth, uh, the Model 17 Bowie, and the Timberjack Hunter. The 571 is the knife you saw in the beginning, an incredible value for $15, has a high carbon steel blade, the high visibility orange handle in case you drop it, easy to find. All right, next to that, the Carbonox, it's kind of, it's basically very similar, all right, but the handle, well, it's a little bit better of a handle as far as giving you a better grip. It's a rubber overmold, and the steel on that is Carbonox. That's a proprietary steel, I believe. The knife is named after the steel. Don't know too much about it, but it performs well. Next to that, Witch's Tooth, great traditional design. The next one, that buoy super sharp I mean that thing that thing is razor that's the only one here that's a stainless steel all right gonna resist corrosion a little better and the last knife that timberjack it's high carbon steel blade very similar to the 571 you see the only difference 
is the handle, offers a little bit more of a guard, but the blades are basically identical. And again, you know, for $20 and change, that's an incredible value, that knife right there. All right, and here is a close-up of the, the witch's tooth. Now that's just a beautiful blade. The handle is made from curly birch wood and reindeer bone. You know, very traditional handle, but this is fully functional, okay? People in that part of the world have been using these, these type of knives with that Scandinavian grind. They've been using these out in the field. Uh, you know, for ge for generations, and clean that up for you. That is a high carbon steel blade. I mean, look at that. This will slice through anything you need to slice through. Cordage. It's like a brass spacer there. But it's just a beautiful blade. Look at that. And check out the leather sheath that this comes with. Yeah, she, Martini of Finland, a beautiful little pattern, and just look at the color of it. I mean, this is a great, I mean, for the price, this would be an incredible gift to receive, to give. You see, it's kind of a bushcrafting pattern sheath that overlaps quite a bit, you know, for security. And as I said, this is a traditional design, and one very interesting part is what they call the drum. There's actually a stone inside there, and if you uh, you can hear it slightly rattle, that is actually a traditional feature. They say it actually keeps evil spirits away. Yes, and since I've got this knife, not a single evil spirit has troubled me. So that feature works 100% success rate in my experience. Oh, and if you wanted to disable that, I think a little bit of adhesive squirted in there would pretty much glue the stone to the bottom. But don't do not do that, man. That's, I mean, that's part of the history and tradition of this type of knife. And that's just, you know, thing of beauty right there. All right, and just a quick view of my, you know, basically my beater knife. This is the lowest priced martini knife that I have, so it's the one, you know, that I beat up. And... It hold, you know, it's held up amazingly well. You saw me pushing it through that wood, but when I clean off the blade, look, you can, uh, hold on, you know, you can barely see, right? I mean, there's a few uh, wear and tear marks, but after I polish, repolish the blade, I mean, it holds up amazingly well. Obviously, it is carbon steel, so you see it has darkened. You know, it has darkened in patches over time. Just from, you know, just having it outside. But still, an amazing blade, 15 bucks. And here's the 571 next to the Carbonox. You see, very, you know, almost identical blade shape. But here's what makes the Carbonox great is the handle. Uh, it gives you a, a much better, much better grip, kind of a deluxe handle with the rubber overmold. Great blade, got it for about $40. Awesome light utility. All right, and here is the Model 17 buoy, and this is the only one that has a stainless steel uh, for the blade steel. If, if you're really worried about corrosion, you might want to get this one. It is, it's a cast metal guard. And look at, you want to see my camera? Hold on. All right, and uh, you want to see my camera? There it is. That's my, uh, my Sony high def camera. And that's how it comes, you know, um, when they say a mirror, a mirror finish, well, you can use it as a mirror. I mean, that's nice. A, mi a mirror finish on, you know, a knife that's around 20 bucks. Beautiful. It came, it came super razor sharp. I mean, crazy, stupid, dangerous, sharp. Nice. And that's a Craton handle. Gives you an excellent grip. Keeps you safe. Great little knife. All right, and uh, one of the newest martini knives I've gotten. You know, I noticed they don't sell the uh, M571 on Amazon anymore. I don't know if that's just temporary or maybe it's been replaced by this model, but this is a great budget-priced model. They're calling it the Timberjack Hunter. That's what I purchased it as. Look at that Scandi grind, the two-tone. I mean, really, for about $22. 
I mean that that is high quality from Finland and you can see the type of handle nice keeps you safe keeps you locked in it's a beautiful blade all right YouTube you know sharp shiny pointed things good values high quality that's why I try to make my channel about and there you see two great blades right there hope you enjoyed this overview Dumb out.